Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Recap, Friday, March 29th Sunny S. Bipolar Meds sabotaged Valentin running pikeman for Brennan. General Hospital GH spoilers reveal that Sam McCall Kelly Monaco called Olivia Cordemain Lisa Lo Cicero with the news that Dante Falconeri Dominic Zam Pragna was awake, so Olivia took Rocco Falconeri Finn Francis Carr and Danny Morgan Asher Antonazan to GH with her. Once Dante's doctors evaluated him and removed his breathing tube, Sam returned for a sweet reunion. Olivia, Rocco, and Danny did the same but Dante seemed concerned when the topic of Jason Morgan's Steve Burton day in court came up. Danny admitted a lot people thought Jason pulled the trigger on Dante, but he asked for Anna Devane Finola Hughes and confirmed to her that Jason wasn't responsible. Dante said he'd never seen the guy who was actually to blame before, but Jason was the one who saved his life. At Sunny Corinthos Maurice Bennard Penthouse, he questioned if maybe Jason and Carly Spencer Laura Wright had been working together all this time. Carly thought Sonny was being ridiculous and was eventually joined by Jason once Frank Frank Barr let him in. Jason assured Sonny that he wasn't at fault for Dante's ordeal and that he made sure Sonny didn't die at the warehouse. Sonny wondered why he should believe Jason, who told him the story of getting arrested by the FBI and becoming an informant. When Sonny asked who Jason was protecting, Jason insisted he was protecting himself. Sonny still considered Jason a traitor along with Carly, so he ordered them both out. Ava Jerome Mora West was on hand for all this and did her best to comfort Sonny in the aftermath. When Sonny left the room, Ava put his phone out of sight so that he wouldn't see Olivia's message about Dante waking up and talking. Instead, Ava made herself the bearer of good news and delighted Sonny with updates on Dante being awake and alert. However, Ava acted like Dante's doctors were with him and that Sonny should wait until morning to visit. As Ava drank with Sonny on the sofa, she kept playing up how he could count on her. Sonny marveled over Ava being the only one who'd been there for him and kissed her before retiring to his bedroom for the evening. Back at the hospital, Sam told Elizabeth Baldwin Rebecca Herbst that Dante said Jason wasn't to blame for what happened on the pier, so Liz was eager to tell Jake Weber Hudson West. Elizabeth also shared a moment with Danny at one point since she saw him at the arraignment. Liz thought Jason was lucky to have Danny in his corner. Carly took Jason to Bobby S., so he noticed the sign and thought the name change was a nice tribute. Jason needed somewhere to stay since he'd at least be in town until the trial, so Carly offered him the room upstairs at the restaurant. Once Anna called and told Carly about Dante clearing Jason's name, Jason heard the news as well. Both Carly and Jason were relieved over Dante regaining consciousness and setting the record straight. Meanwhile, Valentin Cassidy and James Patrick Stewart arranged for John Jack Brennan Charles Misur to take a little field trip with him from Pentonville, so a guard drove them and gave them a chance to talk. It became clear that Valentin had been running pikemen ever since Brennan got locked up. Valentin wasn't happy about no one at pikemen realizing Jacobs was actually Jason, but Jack aka Brennan suggested he couldn't vet every employee personally. Although Valentin assumed Jason sabotaged the latest attempt on Sonny's life, he had another plan to get Sonny out of the way. Valentin suggested Sonny wouldn't he need to be eliminated if he got rid of himself. It turns out Valentin had gotten in touch with a pharmaceutical source to make sure Sonny's bipolar meds were only one quarter strength. That meant they were mostly placebos so Valentin offered a prediction on Sonny spinning out of control and hopefully get himself arrested. Valentin gave Brennan some cash so he could bribe guards as necessary and made it clear that Anna could never find out about any of this. Brennan later realized the guard driving them was deaf, so he was impressed over how far Valentin had gone to protect their secrets. General Hospital spoilers say Brennan and Valentin's partnership will lead to more drama, 
so stay tuned. Title, General Hospital Recap, Friday, March 29th. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the city of Port Charles, the lives of its residents continued to intertwine in ways both expected and unforeseen. Friday, March 29th was a day of revelations, betrayals and unexpected alliances at General Hospital, where the drama never seemed to cease. The day started with tension thick in the air as Sonny Corinthos, the enigmatic mob boss turned coffee importer, found himself battling demons of the mind once again. Sonny's struggle with bipolar disorder has been a recurring theme in his life, and on this particular day, it took a sinister turn. His trusted confidant and pharmacist, Maxie Jones, had been inadvertently sabotaging his medication, causing him to spiral into manic episodes. Meanwhile, across town, Valentin Cassidine, the suave and cunning businessman with a penchant for intrigue, was embroiled in his own set of troubles. Ever the opportunist, Valentin had found himself caught between loyalty to his family and his own ambitions. He had been secretly running a clandestine operation known as Pikeman for his mysterious associate, Brennan, whose motives remained shrouded in secrecy. At General Hospital, the corridors buzzed with activity as doctors and nurses rushed to attend to patients both new and familiar. Dr. Hamilton Finn, the brilliant infectious disease specialist with a troubled past, found himself faced with a challenging case that tested his medical prowess. Meanwhile, Nurse Elizabeth Weber, the compassionate and resourceful caregiver, offered a comforting presence to those in need. In the midst of the chaos, romance blossomed in unexpected places. Drew Kane, the dashing former Navy SEAL with a penchant for adventure, found himself drawn to the fiery and independent Sam McCall, whose troubled past mirrored his own. Despite their differences, the two found solace in each other's arms, forging a bond that seemed destined to endure. Elsewhere in the hospital, Dr. Britt Westbourne, the sharp-tongued and fiercely independent physician, found herself grappling with her own demons. Haunted by memories of her tumultuous past, Britt struggled to maintain her composure in the face of mounting pressure. But beneath her tough exterior lay a vulnerability that threatened to consume her. As the day wore on, alliances were forged and broken, secrets were revealed, and lives were forever changed. In a shocking twist, Sonny Corinthos confronted Maxie Jones about her role in sabotaging his medication, leading to a confrontation that left both parties reeling. And Valentin Cassidine's dealings with Brennan took a dangerous turn, forcing him to confront the consequences of his actions. But amidst the chaos and turmoil, there was a glimmer of hope. As the residents of Port Charles faced their trials and tribulations head-on, they discovered that strength often lies in the most unexpected places. And though the road ahead was fraught with uncertainty, they faced it with courage, determination and a steadfast belief in the power of love. As the sun set on another day in Port Charles, the residents of General Hospital braced themselves for whatever challenges lay ahead. For in a town where drama reigns supreme, one thing was certain, the bonds of friendship, family and love would always prevail in the end.